Today on Papa's Projects, we are running all six mini splits. Five of them are one ton, 12,000 BTU. This one is 18,000 uh, BTU, 240 volts. And we are running a pool pump, heat pump, that is 17,000 BTUs. And on top of that, we are also running our pool filter at 2,800 RPMs, running our lights, refrigerators, freezers. We are loading it up today. We added, we have 21 panels on the grow watt. And on that one, it's keeping the batteries charged while it's running it at uh, 53 volts and let's see what we have we are 3.08 kilowatts that we're using right now and see if we can get to our amps see how many amps we're using we are using 57 58 amps on this right now and our we are at Right on 16% of our 12,000, of course we don't have 12,000 watts hooked up, we only have 21 250 watt panels. So we're doing pretty good. Now we're back up there at 58 volts on our battery temporarily, drop down to 53. We are running this one and this battery bank is 51.8, this battery bank is at 49.8. This battery bank over here is at 26.7, 26.9, and this one is 27. So we are running everything right now on these six off-grid inverters, and we're slowly adding more panels to this. But this thing is on max. That is, they have a button on there on this. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get it to show. But it actually says, oh, there it is, super. It goes to the coldest setting. I think it's probably putting out like 34 degree air right now. And we have this one running. Um, that is throwing out some about 35 degree air. Every one, the two upstairs and the two downstairs and the pool pump are all on the highest cooling. Well, the pool pump is a heater, but the uh, mini split um, heat pumps that are cooling the house are all set at like 60 degrees right now. And so they're running full tilt and we're still keeping our 24 volt system right around 27 volts. So we're running everything, everything's staying nice and cool. Um, keeping this thing, it's almost 50 volts right here. And we still can add more to this if we want to. So our main goal on this one is getting this connected to about 50 or 60 panels and I'm going to try and use the grid assist on this one because I need 240, 230, 240 volts. And I'm going to try and use the grid. I'm going to use the uh, AC 240 out on this to be my AC in on this because they're both pure sine wave. So I'm going to try and use that to start up that 12 and a half ton pool pump. Uh, eventually when I get enough panels connected to this, I still haven't stripped any panels away from these over here. I just added panels to this. Now I'm pretty much out. So I'll have to borrow panels to try and get this thing running. And this is where we added the panel. So we had an eight panel array here. <laughs> And today we 
added this seven panel array. So we basically have these connected where we have four of them wired in series, four of them wired in series. Those two are parallel together. Then we have four of them wired in series and then three of them wired in series. And then those two are parallel together. I run the line down and I connect it in parallel to this eight. And then I parallel those. And that's just two wires, the positive and negative going in to that inverter. And then we have these six mono panels uh, going into that same 12 kilowatt low frequency grow watt. So these, these work really well, except the um, 24 volt system. These are different. I have the ones on the back of the shed are the same as these, but then I got these separately and they're the same specs, but they, those 2400 watt, 24 volt inverters just don't like them. They just don't like, I don't care how I wire those up. Um, these I do three of them in series and then parallel it with these three. And that's fine. But when I try to do the same thing over here, it does not like it on the inverters. It gives me error codes. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, if I use these three separate, they work fine. But I cannot put them together with anything else. So that's all right. I'm thinking about putting these up on top of my motor home. So that's another project. Anyways, we, uh, we will be getting sun on top of this in about a week and a half where we'll have full sun all the way down. We'll be able to put all 24 panels. Right now, we have, in the wintertime, we put those 12 panels up on top of there on that wall back there and actually get really good um, amount out of this. So, but these will be leaving that wall and they will be going up there. And you can see that it's kind of shaded right now. The sun is almost directly overhead, just another week, maybe two weeks, somewhere around there. Then they'll be in full sun all day long for the entire summer from basically May until right around between September and October. I'll get full sun from sun up to sun down and there'll be um, 12 of those panels on that 6,500 watt inverter. That'll work out really nice. So we are hoping to, like I said, get that 12 kilowatt. Everything else I've had can't even come close to starting up. I could probably use the 5,000 watt and the 6,500 watt MPPs where I would wire those up with grid assist where I can start it up with a grid assist, but then it just goes to the um, solar panels by themselves. Um, and that would be, while that cycles on and off, it would have to use the grid assist to fire that up. Now on this thing over here, this 127,000 BTU uh, electric pool pump, pool heater, this thing turns on and if I set it for like 89 degrees and it's 68, it will run and just stay on constantly. So that's not gonna cycle on and off like these three and a half and four ton main air conditioners. I rarely use those. Just at nighttime, I use this one. Just for maybe, I think last night we ran it for 25, 30 minutes for the entire night. So, but there's the um, 120 volt pool heater. That thing's running. Both of these um, 12,000 BTU mini splits are running. So I've got those on the east side of the house. And when we go over to the west side of the house, 
which is where my system is on the other wall. All my inverters and battery banks are on this wall. We have inverter on the living room, which is a 12,000 BTU. This is the 18,000 BTU. And then down there, we have that 12,000 BTU. So we got the three on this side and the three on the east side all running right now. I'm sorry, the two on the east side, these three, and then the two in the garage, plus that 17,000 BTU pool heater. So it's a pretty good day. <laughs> it's, and uh, it's keeping the upstairs right now, it's around 68 degrees upstairs. And we're around 90 degrees right now outside and downstairs it's like 70 degrees and the garage is around 70 degrees so hoping that i can like i said if i can get that 127,000 btu uh, pool heat pump to fire up using grid assist just to get up and running and then i can use then I'll have, you know, that 12,000 watt inverter where I can run that. Um, Cause I think this only uses 30 amps when it's running. So I shouldn't have any problem. That's 120 amp off grid, low frequency um, inverter for the 12 grand, 12,000 watts. So that should be easy. So I'm either gonna have to use that other MPP, like I said, as my um, utility assist, which would still be solar off-grid inverter assisting the 12 kilowatt off-grid inverter. Try doing that to see if I have enough juice between the two of those, because that's a 5,000 um, watt inverter on that MPP. And if that doesn't work, I could always just use the um, 240 in the garage and connect that. And then it should just start up. Um, I've had that where I used that before, where I use one inverter as a grid assist for the other one. And it'll start up momentarily and then it stops using the grid. So we're gonna give it a try. It'd be really nice to have that thing <laughs> when I don't use hardly any electricity at all in the winter time, that would be nice to be able to have this pool heated year round at like 88, 89 degrees is where we like it. We're older, <laughs> we like it cold or warmer. So anyways, please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you soon. Have a wonderful and blessed day.